Verse 19, Dr. Springs, who is this? Agent Ralph, this is an emergency. Have you found a hostile anomaly? People turning into flesh. I saw it. It's all over the town. I, this call's coming from the Midwest. Are you sure? Agent, are you there? Are you there? What is this task, exactly? Saken will brief you on it. You and Dr. Erling are investigating a deadly viral outbreak a few hundred miles northwest of here. An outbreak of what, exactly? SCP-610, a highly infectious disease that manipulates human tissue, turning them into deformed, fleshy monsters. Ah, and I was worried this task would be dangerous. Listen, I'm sorry, Eric, but you are very efficient. Director Sakem sees value. This just seems like a lot. I'm still relatively new, and I've made loads of mistakes. Yes, you are not perfect, and you are new, but you are still a very good man for the task. Come, Henry is waiting. This is a serious threat to us, to humanity. Hopefully the outbreak is in its early stages, making suppression easier. Dr. Bradstone, you would have been told early on that we have two main classifications for SCPs, safe and Euclid. Safe aren't really an issue so long as they're contained. Euclid needs special procedures and are often more hostile. There is, however, a third main classification, Keta. A Keta SCP is one that is exceedingly difficult to contain and is almost always a threat. Previously, it was confined to a small area within Russia, but now we've been alerted of an outbreak in North America. Dr. Erling is experienced in the matter. We'll both join Mobile Task Force Beta 7 in investigating the anomaly. You will be given the highest quality protective equipment, but be warned, it does not guarantee safety if you come into contact. Here's the other researcher, and the site is open to you, so let us know when your team is ready to go. They're all ready. The anomalies that we had from Site-17 are going to go soon. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'd lose 458. Yes, yes, but seriously, there's something more important I need to sort out. Alt, up ahead. Clear. These ones appear to be in the early stages of infection. The outbreak still appears young. It is getting late, we should find some shelter. Sad to see you going. It was inevitable. Your organization is constrained by human limitations, forcing me to move from one place to another. Well, I'm sure it's hardly any effort. Remember that talk we had? Was what you told me true? I never lie. Always the truth. But did you tell me all of it? There is no reason for me to work against you, Sakem. I am a god. So you keep saying. Well, thanks for the advice. So, you have experience with this? I have had an encounter. I used to serve at Site 54 in Germany. And you visited the region? No, I have only seen a sample of the dead tissue. What? And you're the closest thing we have to an expert? No, 
It will be easy for Sakem to find someone more experienced. Oh. You guard the front door. I'll take the window. Commander, we have taken shelter in a small household. They have donuts in the cafeteria. Fancy one? No. Hmm. Suit yourself. Don't drink coffee, don't eat snacks. What do you guys do? We work. Oh. Uh, okay. Ah, Wolf. Uh, there are some documents that I need to access, dating from the 14th. From before the inspection? Yes. That date. About the 096 breach. I need to make a few redactions. Won't the overseers notice? I doubt it. I haven't filed the event as a breach, which is technically true since it never left the facility. Ah, uh, yes. I'll find it for you. Code Red. Code Red. Code Red. Get in, get in quick! Erling, get it started, quickly! Come on, what is it? We gotta go! We have time. We can outrun it. We could, but thousands of others won't. This is not our business. The Foundation will stop it. This is worse than I thought. We cannot stop it. We can only slow it down, and then we might have a chance of containing it. Our job is to protect humanity. Some may have forgotten that, but I have not. Erling! Glad that you made it back in one piece. We'll section off the area and then provide a cover story so as not to raise suspicion. But Dr. Erling... was a brave man, and we will pay our respects to him. Go get some rest. You've been through a lot. Yes, thank you. <laughs>